Welcome to day two of our seven day full body Hatha yoga challenge. Today's practice keeps things very simple, but we'll still be tending to our full body. We continue our time at Baldwin Beach, but tomorrow we'll be at a brand new location on Maui. If you're joining us for the first time, check out the day zero video linked above to see what this challenge is all about and sign up to join in in the community challenge. There's also a special two month free promo code to our membership site linked below if you'd like to check out some of our members only content. With that said, hop into something comfy and I'll meet you seated on the mat. Find yourself a comfortable cross-leg seated position using any props needed to make this comfortable in your body. Softly close your eyes to allow a deeper connection with your body. Relax your hands wherever is comfortable. Align your head, neck, and your spine, lengthening your spine, but softening your neck. Feel a vibrant line running from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. Relax your feet, relax your thighs, and balance your weight evenly across your sits bones. Notice the areas of your body that are connected to the earth. Feel grounded and supported by the earth. Now begin to draw your attention to your breath without controlling it, just letting it be, noticing the length of your inhalations compared to the length of your exhalations. Following each breath from end to end. Now we're going to gradually increase the count of our breath. We'll begin with a count of one. So after our inhale, we'll pause for a count of two with each cycle. As we increase the count of our inhale and exhale, notice how their deeper breaths lead you to feel. Once you get to a point where you have met your full capacity to inhale, just continue with that breath count even if I continue to increase. We'll be breathing in and out your nose. Let's begin. Inhale for one, pause, one, two, exhale for one. Inhale for two, one, pause for one, two, exhale for two, one. Inhale for three, two, one, pause for one, two, exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Pause the top for one, two, and exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Pause at the top for one, two, and exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause for one, two, exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause for one, two, exhale for seven, five, four, three, two, one last round. Inhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and this time, if you can, take in a little more air. Inhale, pause for one, two, before you exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, my friend. Allow your breath to return to its own natural rhythm. 
Take a moment to tune in and notice how you're feeling after our pranayama practice. Now as we flow today, whatever your highest count was, that's the count I want you to use while we're holding our poses. I'll go ahead and cue for that too. All right, my friend, gently open your eyes, spread a soft, loving smile upon your face, and make your way towards the back of the mat. We are finding our child's pose just like we did in yesterday's practice, but this time we're gonna do a wide knees child's pose. Bring your big toes to kiss and your knees open as wide as you would like. The wider your knees, the deeper the hip opening. So take as wide as feels good in your body. Walk your palms forward to lower your torso through center. Forehead kisses the earth. Let's keep it soft in our upper body to allow the focus to be on the hip opening by keeping a slight bend in your elbows and bringing palms to kiss overhead. On your next inhale, breathe in the count of your deepest inhale, sending your in-breath down the length of your spine and into your low back, expanding it front, back, side to side. Take that same count as you exhale softly into the pose. Walk your palms to the left side of the mat, coming into a side body stretch. Your right hand can stack on top of your left to help deepen the stretch. On your next inhalation, take your deepest count, sending your breath into the length of your right side body, expanding it. And take that same count for a long, slow exhalation out your nose. Walk your fingertips through center, then over to the right side. Sucking left hand on top of the right if you wish to deepen it. Count your next inhale, sending the breath into the length of your left side body, expanding it. And take that same count for a long, slow exhalation out your nose. Walk yourself back to center, returning to child's pose. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Press down in your knuckles and fingertips, full breath in through your nose and use your exhalation to round forward into cat pose. Bring your knees into hip distance, taking just one cat cow, so make them feel oh so good. Inhalation, ripple your spine through, lowering your belly, lifting your gaze for cow, and find your flat back. Line your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hip points. Fingers spread as wide as you would like, tops of feet to the mat, shins parallel. Let's press the tops of your feet down into the earth. Breathe in, draw that navel up and in. Lengthen your tailbone to the space behind you. Crown head reaches forward. Lengthen your right leg behind you with toes tucked to the mat. And then press your right heel back. Now using the muscles of your inner right thigh, lift your leg so it's parallel with the earth. Notice how this affects your body moving into this balance pose where the weight shifts to. Option if it feels okay to extend your left arm long. Hug your core up and in. Back toes point down towards the mat. Find an energetic line from your heel all the way to your fingertips. Breathe into it. Two more deep breaths. Count them out. Now leg stays extended as you lower your palm to the mat, reach your toes up to the sky, gaze lifts arching your back before you step your right foot forward to low lunge. Tuck your back toes and press up into runner's lunge. Press back through your heel, back leg is engaged, your kneecap lifted. Soft gaze forward, keeping chin parallel with the earth, extending your spine. Imagine a long line from your crown ahead all the way to your back heel. And lower your left palm to the mat. On your exhale, extend the opposite arm to the sky for a twist. Stay strong in your legs. Knit your front ribs together before you spiral your chest towards the sky, reaching your fingertips back. Your left rib cage drawing towards your thigh. And then lower your extended hand to the mat to frame your foot. Lower back knee to the mat once more. Big breath in to reach those fingertips up to the sky. 
then really allow those hips to melt forward and down into the pose as you reach the fingertips back and space into a mini back bend. Take your full deep breaths, counting the inhale to the exhale. On your next exhale, lower your hands to frame your foot. We'll press up to step back to plank pose with elbows hugging along your body in one long line, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Tops of feet release to kiss the mat. On your next inhale, using the muscles of your back, peel your upper body off the mat. Your shoulder heads draw back, elbows reach back, squeezing towards each other. Get really broad across your collarbone, heart shining bright. On your next exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Tuck your toes and press yourself up to tabletop. Let's take that floor to the second side. Extend your left leg behind you with toes tucked to the mat. Press back through your left heel while keeping your lower abs, your lower belly hugging up and in and using the muscles of your inner left thigh. Lift your legs so it's parallel with the earth. Notice how this affects your body moving into that balance pose. How does your weight shift if this affects the alignment in your body? Option, if it feels okay to extend that right arm long. Hug your core up and in. Your back toes point down towards the mat, finding that energetic line from your heel all the way to your fingertips. Breathing into it. Two more deep breaths. Leg stays extended and lower your palm. Reach that sole foot towards the sky. Gaze lifts, arching your back before you step your left foot through for low lunge. Glance down to ensure knee is in line with your heel and not going past. And we'll tuck your back toes to press up to your runner's lunge. Press back through your heel. Back leg is engaged, knee lifted. And keep a soft gaze forward your chin parallel with the earth, extending your spine. Imagine a long line from your back heel all the way up to your crown ahead. Take a breath. Lower your right palm to the mat and on your exhale, extend the opposite arm to the sky for your twist. Stay strong and engaged in your legs. Go ahead and knit your front ribs together and on your exhale, spiral your chest towards the sky. Your right rib cage yearns towards that thigh. And lower your extended hand to the mat. Back knee to the mat. Big breath in to extend those fingertips up to the sky. Hips melting forward and down into the pose. Hips are square to the front of the mat. Reach those fingertips back in space, taken into a back bend as you lift your gaze up. Take your full deep breath. On your next exhale, lower hands to frame your foot. This time we'll step back for down dog. Make this down dog your own, taking whatever feel good moves sound good to your body. Slowly walk your palms back towards your feet for a forward fold at the back of the mat. Keep your knees bent and allow your torso, your upper body to weigh heavy with arms dangling. If you find your neck is holding a little tension to help release, gently shake it side to side, back and forth, or just in circles, whatever's calling to you. And then we'll breathe and lift halfway, vibrant long spine. Exhale, soften forward. Take a big breath in, circling fingertips down and rounds and up. Once you're at the top, exhale, cactus your arms as you slowly circle them down to interlace behind your low back. Draw your interlace fingers to the space behind you, then towards the earth, taking it into a back bend as you lift your gaze up. Really press back, shoulder blades squeeze together. Palms press towards one another. 
and on your next exhale fold forward at your hips reaching the interlaced fingers up and overhead and once you're folded your interlaced fingers can either feel as though they are falling towards the space in front of you or you can energetically press them towards the space in front of you providing a nice opening sensation in your shoulders the latter may be a little deeper We'll breathe in, lift halfway to, to find your flat back. Exhale, soften and release interlace fingers to the mat. Heel toe your feet a little wider, bringing toes out and heels in, preparing for malasana, our yogic squat. So once you have it, go to lower your hips down through center and then lift your torso up. Bring your elbows to the inside of your thighs, palms fused together at heart center. If your heels pop up, that's okay. Just support them with a blanket or a rolled up mat. And then we'll lift and lengthen your torso. So lengthen up through the crown of your head while lengthening your tailbone down towards the earth. Getting nice and long here. Go ahead and imagine that vibrant long line from your crown of your head all the way to your tailbone. Draw your attention to the soles of your feet, noticing your weight distribution. If you find it is mainly in the balls of your feet, go ahead and slightly shift your weight into your heels. Notice how this affects what you're feeling in this pose. And continue your deep breathing. Bring one hand to the mat in front of you and one behind to lower your seat to the mat. We'll extend your right leg out long. Foot flex, toes to the sky. Then let's take that left sole of foot to the outside of your right thigh. Big breath in to lengthen up through the crown of your head, getting nice and tall here. Moving into a twist next. So you have the option to wrap your right arm around your knee or you can bring your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. And then the left fingertips will be near your left hip. Stay broad across your chest. On your next inhale, begin to unwind and extend your right leg long. Let's take that to the other side. Extend your left leg out long, your right sole foot coming to the outside of the left thigh. Taking whichever variation with your arm feels best to move into your twist on the exhale. Find length with each inhalation you take and your exhalation takes you deeper into the twist. Staying broad across your collarbones. Shoulder heads draw down your back. On your next inhale, begin to unwind and extend your leg long. Bring both soles of feet to the mat. Let's take an easy boat pose to check in with our core. Bring hands to clasp the back side of your thighs. Find your long spine once more. And when you're ready, lift one chin so it's parallel with the sky and then the other. Maintaining length in your spine, no rounding in your back. Return to counting your inhalations to your exhalations. And this time, making your exhalation very powerful, really drawing your navel back towards your spine. If you find that you're rounding your lower back, go ahead and lower your toes to the mat. Beautiful. Now slowly lower yourself back to the mat. Hug knees into your chest, giving yourself a big old hug. We'll slowly release. Lower soles of feet to the mat. Then we'll roll over to your right side so you can press yourself up to make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Begin to make circles with your wrists, making sure to get your fingers into it too, so really accentuating that movement. Circle in the opposite direction. Then lift your fingertips up and then down a few times. And release your palms to your thighs. Take a big circle of your neck to the right and then to the left. So go down through center, chin to chest. And then lift chin so it's parallel with the earth. Moving into our meditation. So prop yourself up if needed to meet your body where it's at in our easy pose. Softly close your eyes and relax your hands wherever is comfortable. Shoulders circle up and back. Align your head, neck, and your spine for a beautiful long spine. 
visualizing a vibrant line running from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Relax your feet, relax your thighs. Balance your weight evenly across your sits bones. Noticing the areas of your body that are connected to the earth. Feel grounded and supported by the earth. Now draw your attention to your breath without trying to control it, just letting it be. Notice the length of your inhalations and the length of your exhalations. Follow each breath from beginning to end. We're going to introduce a mantra. I am here, I am now, I am enough. What you are now, where you are now, is and always will be enough. The mantra we are working with, I am here, I am now, I am enough, is not just about being in the present moment, but accepting and owning who you are in the present moment. I am here, I am now, I am enough. Our relationship with ourselves, how we talk to ourselves, plays a significant role in how we live and feel. I am here, I am now, I am enough. Accepting who you are in the present will help you to evolve into the person you are meant to be. Continue repeating this mantra, I am here, I am now, I am enough, within your mind's eye until my voice returns. Allow yourself to feel however you feel as you repeat the mantra, actively accepting who you are and how you feel in the present moment. I am here, I am now, I am enough. All right, my friend, I would like for you to say one round of this out loud with me. I am here, I am now, I am enough. Sometimes hearing your voice say this helps with acceptance. Now it's time to let go of the mantra. Notice how you're feeling in mind, body, and spirit. Call the mind one word that describes you are feeling in the here and now. Begin to rub your palms on your thighs, feeling the warmth it creates. Gently open your eyes, taking the color in of your environment that surrounds you. Spread a soft smile upon your face. And let's take a deep breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light, palms kiss, and lower prayer to heart center. Bring thumbs to your sternum to seal the love and light in. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Comment the hashtag BePresentBelow 
if you are a part of the seven day full body Hatha yoga challenge to be present. Thank you so much for joining me for day two of the challenge. Don't forget if you haven't already to sign up for the challenge by visiting the link in the description below to receive the daily love letter and to also join the community to connect more with me personally and others doing the challenge to help get the most out of the challenge and so we can evolve together. I can't wait to see you on the mat tomorrow. From my heart to yours.